Now what is nicer on a cold winter's morning to have a nice mug of tea and a piece of cake to eat or this is not only a cake it is a delicious malfa pudding but let me show you how dead easy it is to make um, let me just show you the texture it's beautifully fluffy and light and we've added some poppy seeds to this together with a lovely nachi topping but let's get down to the job now this is one instance where you simply just ignore anything that's written on the back of the box now you follow the recipe and we're using the vanilla cake mix and you're using butter and make sure that the butter is nice and soft give it the finger test if you push your finger down the butter must give that means it's going to be very easy to cream I'm using an electric beater but of course there's no reason why you can't beat this by hand you can see the technique I'm using when I'm beating as I'm beating I'm turning the bowl and I'm rotating it so that the beaters can really beat now we're going to start the eggs and it's best to add the eggs one by one and beat them in really well after each addition Janet will you give me a hand please Now you see what we end up here is quite a sloppy mixture with the butter and the eggs. Don't be concerned because we are going to bind that now by adding one third of the pack of cake mixture. On a slow speed Now we add the milk, the nachi juice, you can of course use orange or even lemon if you like but uh, oh, I think the nachi gives such a wonderful flavour and the smell and then for that little touch of texture, of class, of flavour we add poppy seeds. Now we add the rest of the mixture and the final part of the mix is done by hand. So with a gentle movement, scraping the sides coming in through the middle, you cut the dry ingredients through. Mm. and that beautiful poppy as soon as you see that there are no more white streaks in the mixture then you know you've mixed enough don't over mix at this stage otherwise your cake tends to rise with a peak there you are now we can put this into our pans now you saw that the first one that you looked at was a large one you can either bake it in a large oven proof dish or we can bake two and freeze the one if you're catering for a smaller crowd but I would really be surprised if you have any over just try and more or less get the same amount into each one I'll say. We've had such wonderful positive feedback from so many of our subscribers on the video cookery lessons and just as you've enjoyed them we certainly have enjoyed doing it because it shows you that whatever we do here is real nothing is done by remote control we test everything ourselves 
just smooth this out leaving a little bit of a hollow in the middle because it will always tend to rise with a slight peak mm. just remember this vanilla cake mix also makes um, I think it's about 18 or 24 little fairy cakes if you wanted to use it for a children's party now this just goes in the oven at 180 degrees the smaller ones will bake for probably about 35 40 minutes and the bigger one will bake slightly longer so in the oven when it comes out of the oven I'll show you a wonderful tip of how to add the syrup over the cake so it soaks right through especially in the middle Kijk niet hoe mooi lijkt zij na. They came out just as they should. Now, the big secret that I was telling you about is to cut the mulva pudding before you put the syrup over. But let me just start with the syrup quickly. We've got some... Sorry, my pot was a bit hot. Cream. Nachi juice, butter, mm. how can this not be good? Sugar, some more Nachi peel, and then a mulfa pudding without a bit of sherry or a bit of fandaham would be the ultimate, is not a mole for pudding but you can make it without so this lot just needs to melt together just come to the boil while I quickly cut this now can't you see that the advantage of cutting it it gives us little sloikis for the syrup to run into so that the syrup doesn't all sit on the outside of the dish now once this has come to the boil this is just about there then seeing that I've got two dishes now let's just make sure we divide the syrup evenly between the two so don't make extra dishes just use your two little measuring cups that you've used before divide the syrup between they just get more or less the same yeah sweet up like that can they so whoops pull this over can you see how it soaks into the lines where I've cut so that the pudding is juicy right through and not just on the edges just concentrate on this cut mm. nothing wrong with this for a cold winter's night well there you are bon appetit